you're doing well. This video is going to be my beauty favourites of 2013. I still can't believe it's 2014, it's just crazy. You're going to have to get used to saying 2014 now. I was starting to get used to saying 2013, so now I've got to do it all over again. So, um, I've been watching quite a lot of these videos, um, and I've quite a few videos have got similar stuff that I'm showing because they are just so raved about um, and it's stuff that I'm going to be showing you that is well hence the title is literally my favourites that I've fallen in love with and that I use pretty much all the time um, and it's definitely going to be stuff that I will carry on using and will definitely purchase again this year um, I've had to narrow it down to quite a bit um, I did have a lot. I mean, I was looking for my drawers. I was like, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. And then I literally had to think, no, slow down. You know, can't use too much because it's just going to be long. So um, I've nailed it down. So I'm just going to get straight to it. And I'm going to show you my first thing, which is foundation. And it is the MAC foundation. And it's Studio Sculpt. And I get it in NW25. If you're looking for a foundation with great coverage, then I highly recommend this one. It is from MAC, so it's not going to be, you know, the cheapest. But it it is amazing. It is such good coverage. Um, so I highly recommend that if you're looking for something like that. The next thing I'm going to show you is a concealer. And it is the... Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I get it in number 20 and it's once again great coverage I do it on my cheeks, my chin, my nose and then my forehead so I end up looking like a tiger because I've got loads of sort of stripes on my forehead <laughs> um, but it's, it's really really good um, and I first started using it and then I thought wow that's amazing and then I was getting really low and I just kept constantly buying it and buying it and buying it so this is definitely one of those items that I kept constantly buying last year and I will be constantly buying again this year so that is those next thing I'm going to show you talking about face is this is just so raved about people are probably getting bored of seeing it but it is brilliant and it is the professional from benefit and I've got the tiny one because it actually came in a gift set from benefit from boots um, so I'm just going to show you the tiny one I did have a big one before but it literally ran out I just kept using it so I was lucky to get this one in the gift set and it's just oh it's just brilliant just the packaging is so oh I love it just that green packaging it just stands out and that's what benefit always try and do they make their products their packaging just stand out so you can buy it and people end up giving him a buying it just for the packaging and this is one of those and I just I love it definitely amazing and definitely one to keep buying I'm going to show you a bronzer and it is the bourgeois bronzing powder like that and then it opens up into a book and they call it like the chocolate bar effect so there and it literally is like chocolate when you open it you're like oh that looks nice just don't eat it <laughs> um, and I use this for contouring so I do the pout the famous pout and then do my cheekbones just up to the, the hairline the sideburns as you'd say and then I get a bigger brush and I do it on each side of my forehead and I sometimes do it on my nose um, and for if you want to really go extreme with the contouring while well, watching some videos I can't remember what which video it was, I know it was one of the YouTubers Carly um, where she does the beauty bible and I saw where she was doing the proper contouring and she done her nose but she done drew like lines going down to her nose and I was looking thinking what? and then she blended it in and it really like thins out your nose if that makes sense and I tried it and I was like oh my god I had to do it you know a few times to eat it but it was brilliant and I highly recommend watching those contour videos because they're really good so that is that I love that 
Talking about bronzer, the next one is from Benefit again, and it's the Hula bronzer, which everyone just adores. And it just opens up the mirror, and then it's got that. And I put this on my cheekbones, and I recommend not to put too much on because it is quite brown it doesn't look it but when you put it on the brush it does go very brown on your cheeks so don't put too much on because you end up kind of looking um like you have put fake tan on just your cheeks so be very careful about that but i adore this and it is you know people just go on about this and i can see why when i was watching videos before and people were loving it i just thought really then when i bought it i could see why so talking about cheeks, my favourite blusher is from <laughs> Benefit again, and it's the Coral Lister. And the packaging just says it all once again from Benefit, bravo. And it opens up again like a mirror, and then it's like that. And it's sort of like a, well, Coral Lister, it's isn't type, so it's like a coral peach, and it works really well with my skin colour. Um, it, it's just beautiful. It like I went into Benefit and then the girl put it on my cheeks and I fell in love with it and I had to buy it it just I, I've got quite of a, a sort of olivey olive sort of colour skin I go so that works really well especially if I've got tan that will work really well right now on to mascara my favourite mascara is Scandalised Mascara by Rimmel so it's like that fluorescent orange and it's the thick sort of brush And I love this. It's just amazing. I curl my eyelashes first. Then I use another mascara, which is a thin wand, to separate my lashes. And then I put this on and it works wonders. It really proper curls your lashes. Gives it that really curled, thick effect. So I really... About to flick it then. I really recommend that. Um, yeah, it's just... It's amazing. And Rimmel's one of my favourite high street brands. They're just... All of their stuff is just fantastic. And it's such a good price as well. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you lips. So my favourite lipstick is Rimmel again, and it's the Kate Moss lipstick range. And it's the red one, with Kate on it. And it is 110, so 110, and it's sort of a red look. And this is what I'm actually wearing at the moment so I'm just looking in a mirror over there if you're not seeing me proper look at the camera sometimes it's because I'm looking in reflection um, and it's that sort of look I'll show you a swatch so it's like that but you can see it on my lips anyway and it, it it's, it's such a pretty red it's not like a really proper dark red it's a sort of a brighter sort of red so it's got a nice sort of um, coral tint to it. Really pretty. Um, so that's definitely my favourite lipstick lipstick from Rimmel. I use that a lot. My other favourite one is a little bit um, more pricey. <laughs> I mainly bought it because the packaging is so beautiful. And it is the Lime Crime lipstick. And it's got a pretty glittery unicorn on it. I wasn't like, I did like unicorns before, but then when I bought this, I actually fell in love with unicorns because of this. It's just, I mean, come on. How can you not buy it for that packaging? It's just beautiful. It's amazing. It goes with my nails as well. Um, and I got it, I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Gerardium. i show you guys. I'm not sure if that's even the correct name, but... It looks like this. It's a sort of like a really pretty pink, like um, coral sort of pink. If I do a swatch, so it's like that, that one there. Very similar to that one, but obviously more pinky. And it's just pretty. This is £11.50. You can get this on lovemakeup.com um, for £11.50. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend getting this on eBay because I find that it's like about fourteen, fifteen pounds on eBay. So it's actually a hell of a lot more. So if you go on lovemakeup.com, uh, you will find it on there. But 
be quick because they are really selling out. The main colours are sold out. They do very vivid purples and blues, um, but I got it in the nice pink colour. So the next thing I'm going to show you, talking about lips, is my favourite lip balms. I'm sure you can get an idea of what they are because these are pretty much everyone's favourite lip balms. And it's these beauties. So it's the Maybelline Baby Lips. And I got the little set. So you get Cherry Me, which is the orange one, and it's pink. The green one, which is Mint Fresh, so it's obviously going to be minty. The blue one, which is one that I wear more because it's Hydrate. And it works really well with um, if you get very dry, sore lips, which I do. Then you've got the pink one, which I like as well because it gives a pink tint. It's called Pink Punch. Then the yellow one, which I've not actually haven't worn before, and it's intense care, so it's if you get very, very bad chap lips. And then the last one is the purple one, which I'm I haven't really used. It's like a brown sort of fit, it's called Peach Kiss. So yes, they are my favourites. Um once again, <laughs> the packaging just says it all. Um, come on, those colours. I mean, take a picture of those colours, you're going to get a great photography picture. They're just, just amazing. I just love them. So they're my favourite lip balms and I will obviously keep constantly using them over and over again. Um, so yes, then uh, I'm going to show you my favourite palette, which I actually got um, for Christmas from my boyfriend because I was waiting for the price to go down because I think these are so pricey. And it is the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, which everyone adores. And it's annoying because Naked 3 has come out now, but it's still so expensive. And I'm trying to leave it for a while till it actually goes down a hell of a lot in price. It's just so much money. Cover the mirror. Ah, not drop the brush. The brush basically goes there. And it's all like sort of browns and great for highlighters. Um, browns and bronzes and golds tend to work really well with my skin tone um, and I've got green eyes so they work really well with green eyes and close that because the mirror will shine but yeah so that works really well with my my colour um, like I said I tend to wear them more so that this palette is definitely a big yes it's my favourite one when I opened this for my boyfriend at Christmas I was like oh, I just I've been wanting it for so long but I'll definitely get end up getting the Naked Free. It's more like pink tones. But, you know, it's just too much money at the moment. So I'm I'm leaving it for a bit. So that is my favourite palette. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is to do with eyelashes. If you're like me and you go insane when you're getting ready on a night out. And you go to do your eyelashes. And then either one flicks up in the corner. Or... You know, during the night you say to your friends, are my eyelashes okay? And they say, you need to do that bit there. It's just crappy glue. So I was watching a hell of a lot of videos and reading a lot of blogs. And I ended up in 2013 buying the Duo glue. On It's the dark tone one. So basically when you put it on your eyelash, it comes out in a dark glue. So it blends in with your eyelashes. So you don't end up getting the white glue where it goes everywhere. So that's really good. Um, you can get the the white glue in this um, it will, all that will be blue writing um, but this is just amazing my eyelashes stayed on all evening I've got eyelashes on now um, and it just oh it was just amazing like I just found every time I kept going to the toilet on a night out and I still saw my eyelashes intact and I was like wow this stuff's really good and I got it on eBay for about three pounds um, so definitely do your research and go on eBay because you will get it a lot cheaper than other places. Um, so yeah, I really recommend that if you're like me and get very annoyed with eyelash glue, then um, get this because it works wonders. So that is all of my beauty favourites of 2013. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment below. Um, if you've done a video of your beauty favourites, then I would put a link down below. I would like to see them. Um, tell me what your favourite ones are. Um, I would definitely love to look at that. Um, 
But other than that, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!